Hi everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in today to another broadcast of Eyes Can See with your host, Empress Ima Sharon Yisrael, Mother to Israel, who is here to teach you all about the spiritual side and the biblical side of our identity according to the Bible. So please tell all your friends, all your neighbors, tell everybody, come on, sit around. Let's all join in this conversation about our stolen identity of transatlantic slave descendants. We must know who we are. So let's start off with prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing me with this platform that I may be able to encourage, to teach, and to give your people the information that they need about our identity, Father, that who we were before 1619 and who we still are now and what is to happen with us as a people, your people, Father. Thank you, Father, for making this mes message known to all that hear it and that Isaiah 10 and 20 will come to pass in our lives where it says that we will stop depending on our captors and we will start trusting in the Lord God, our Heavenly Father. So I thank you, Father, that your word is true and it will perform itself in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. And let's do Isaiah 61, 1 through 3. Why? Because this is who we are as the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called, trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. So again, hi everybody. Hi, how is everyone doing today? Uh, the name of my message today is, hey y'all, wake up. Actually, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So, in saying that, I'm going to announce everything that I know about our stolen history so that we may all come to the saving knowledge of our true identity together, that we may know what has happened to us and we can decipher what is going on in this world, you know, and, and, the, and how it involves us. And I do need to share a little information. I'm a little bit sad. Uh, today, my little babies are leaving me. They're going to Florida, to their new home in Florida. So I have to watch my babies grow up from afar. But thank you all for sharing my babies with me on Facebook. So anyway, moving past that and getting to this message i just had to mention that oh it's such a sad day for me it's a little gloomy outside but that's okay i'll be able to visit my babies really really soon but getting back to my message hey y'all thanks for coming and and uh sitting you know to hear this message so that you know, uh, you can make this go viral. Make this go viral, everybody, because we really truly need to know what has happened to us as a people. It is time for us to wake up. African-American uh, transatlantic slave trade descendants. African-American is not our name. 
uh, slave trade descendants is not our name. Colored people, Negroes, Black Americans, none of that is our name. We need to know that we are those same Hebrews that were painted on the walls of the pyramids, everyone. Okay, they started off black then and we are still black today. So I'm screaming as loud as I can, y'all, that something big is about to happen. And we are right in the middle of it. We must know who we are as a people. Y'all, let me tell y'all the extraordinary that happened here. I didn't know last year in February, and I just pulled this up. Well, I had mentioned this before, but I really didn't realize that back this happened last year that uh, this video was made known, you know, about this Russian choir, you know, um, singing about Negroes sleep quietly. Come on, y'all. And then we hear, you know, uh, we do a Snopes research and we hear Hitler saying America has, has uh, captured or America has stolen rather God's precious jewels, y'all. And the precious jewels are the Negroes. So we need to give this some attention. We can't let these things keep, you know, flying past, you know, keep being in the news and we not say anything about it. How is it that we don't say anything about these things? Come on, y'all. We need to address these things. If they can tell us, you know, Russia, Russia choir can say that they are going to attack America, but they want the Negroes to sleep quietly. Why is it so important for us to sneak to sleep quietly? Why is it even important for us to be mentioned? Come on, y'all. We can't let this thing just sit there and act like, oh, we didn't hear that. Uh, act like, okay, well, we know what this is all about. We don't know what this is all about. And we need to find out what it is all about. We can't just let this thing, you know, sweep it under the rug and be like, hmm, y'all wonder what they meant by that, but, hmm, okay, we ain't going to investigate it. No, we're going to investigate this thing. We're going to pull it apart. We need to ask the world, hey, what y'all mean by this? Okay, and I'm going to tell you all what Yahweh has given me as far as revelation knowledge and in pulling the scriptures apart, you know, what I can reveal to you about this. Uh, what I can say is it is time for the status quo to be challenged, you all. We cannot sit back and just let these things happen and be said about us and not act like, you know, uh, we need to know more about what has happened to our past before 1619. We need to know, y'all, we just wasn't dropped in Africa. Uh, we just got discovered and all of a sudden, you know, we just these heathen people and... You know, uh, we were made slaves. Come on, it's more to us than this. You know, with everything that's been pulled up about our history, we see that these people were black then, you know, and they couldn't change the, the skin color of the people. You know, uh, the real artifacts, they couldn't change those. So, come on, this is a story that has been covered up and we need to know you know, everything about this story. So, uh, Yahweh has been removing the covers of what has been hidden from us. There's no more hiding, y'all, because everything is being made revealed now, you know? We see what has been done and how all of the civilizations have been stolen and claimed by the captors and colonizers, everyone. Proof is coming out of the ground, screaming, black folks, we are your ancestors, point blank and period, okay? So, uh, with this being done, we need to demand of America to admit who she brought into captivity in 1619. There are records to prove that we are the Hebrew children, y'all. You know, all this Middle East talk, talking about Israel and Sudan, they're making peace and all of this kind of stuff. Come on, y'all. The whole Middle East is out of place. We are Asiatic black people, okay? We are out of place and so is all of the Middle East. I don't care what kind of 
peace that they talking about they coming up with how can peace even come about and all of the middle east is out of place y'all when we fail we cause everything black like us to fall too because we are the children and the scepter will not depart from judah we are the tribe of judah y'all we have another people that are um um May, that are uh, wearing our names, that are assuming our identity right now. So Judah still has the scepter, y'all, because they are uh, appearing to be the tribe of Judah, the modern modern day Jewish people. They are, are are you know acting as if they are us. So just like Scripture said, that that the scepter will not depart from Judah, y'all. We still maintain that scepter, okay? So, um, thing is, is that this is how we will get the justice that we seek. We have to try it and stand on it. We have the proof that cannot be rejected about who we are as a people. Our 400 years of the curses are over. Time is up, y'all. Okay? So Caucasian people always tell black people, go back to where y'all came from. Hmm. So when we do, they won't be happy, y'all, because you know why? It's going to signal their end. When, our, when we leave as a people, from all the places that we've been scattered, they keep saying, black folks, y'all go back to where y'all came from. Hmm. We can't necessarily go back to where we came from because we are called to go to the wilderness of nations so that we can meet with Yahweh face to face and so that we can also get our rewards, y'all. You know, uh, so that's what's next for black people. So when this happened, Caucasian people won't be happy because then Yahweh's day of vengeance will fall upon them. They do not understand that we are connected to Yahweh, okay? That we are directly made in his image. Slave descendants, yes, transatlantic slave descendants and all of the 12 tribes are directly made in the image of Yahweh. And, and the world will see this just as we ourselves will see how all of this is you all so um basically when we do leave they gonna try to follow us y'all <clears throat> we ain't gonna get no peace because they gonna be on our heels trying to follow everywhere we go because they will see that the blessing is on us they will see that we are the ones that they were supposed to you know uh uh treat with respect and dignity but they didn't they're looking at another people that satan has assigned our identity to treating these people as if they are yahweh's true people that is how the world is in trouble with yahweh because they believe satan's lie they swallowed his kool-aid as to the true identity of the 12 tribes you know so they're mistreating the apple of Yahweh's eye. Jacob's trouble will be their bread to eat. And Jacob will be saved out of it. That's what's going on, you all, with our present day election, with how things are. We living in, a, in, in weird times where we have to wear masks over our face. Well, you know what? Actually, transatlantic slave people are hidden. They wear a mask on their identity anyway. So the world is only catching up to where the 12 tribes really are. But because of that pandemic where, you know, um, we, were, we were struck by a plague, everybody has to wear a mask. So everybody's identity is in question pretty much, y'all, you know, because that mask hides people. It hides how you truly look. It hides your true identity, y'all. But we have to wear it because that is what our society dictates right now. We don't want to get sick. 
if we don't want to contract this virus, if we don't want this plague, this Egyptian plague that has come upon us to let us know that there's something big happening, that this world is not normal. You know, the way that we thought normal was. And let's get something straight, black folks. America was never great for us. Yes, America has been good. You know, as far as our freedoms go, as far as us ascending to the heights that we can find ourselves in, yes, America has been good in that regard. But our history as being transatlantic slave descendants and then, you know, going through the, you know, uh, 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 reconstruction period, you know, after slavery and then going through, you know, the Jim Crow area era and then going through, you know, uh, being black, walking while black, driving while black, just being black in America, y'all, our everyday lives. You know, things have gotten good for us, but America has never been great for us. America was only built to contain us people, not to include us. America is not inclusive of black people because they stole our identity. They stole everything about us and they don't want us to wake up. Just like the Russian choir. They don't want us to wake up because if we wake up, we're going to bring y'all way back, y'all. And until we, the 12 tribes of Israel, get this and start to, you know, uh, walk in the things that the Bible tells us to do, then we will see with our own eyes that we are his children, that we will bring y'all way back. So, uh, we are spirit beings. Uh, actually, this was a, a system of magic used over us. That's why I keep telling you guys, this magical ram is a small part of what the spiritual ram is. We are spirit beings governed by spiritual laws that affect our natural existence. So when we learn that this realm that we're living in is Satan's realm and is governed by magic and he put a whole bunch of system of magic, magical things before us that we don't understand and we can't see with our natural eyes. We see it, but we don't understand it. We don't see it for being magic. We don't see it for controlling our lives. We don't see that this thing was put in place so that it can contain us for 400 years. We don't know these things because all we see is this natural. We see our natural flesh and we see the natural laws that control, controls this natural flesh. But when we start digging deeper and we, we start seeing the, nat the spiritual side of us, and how there are spiritual laws that affect our natural side. And we start putting two and two, and two together. Then we'll start to understand the word of God that was left to us as a spiritual warfare weapon. It was to be taught to us. On how to walk in this thing. How to talk in this thing. How to put your enemy under your feet. Y'all. With this system that we're waking up in and finding ourselves in. And then we hear Russia uh, choir singing, uh, Negroes quietly sleep. Uh, no, we have some place to go. We ain't got time to sleep. It's time to wake up. Wake up, y'all. Wake up. It's time for us to go to the next thing that Yahweh has planned for his children, y'all. So... Though a magical ram is affecting our natural existence, the way to combat it is to know who you are and start speaking, y'all. Speaking to your situations. We are powerful beings. We can do just what the word of God tells us that we can do. We are who the word tells us that we are, y'all. We are super warriors. It's not in our own strength, but in his strength, y'all. That's how that super is rubbed on our natural is when we use the word of God, y'all. Okay? We are actually little Jesuses, y'all. Okay? Because basically, literally, when he comes back, he will have a sword in his mouth. 
just like he left a sword in our mouth. What is that sword? The word of God, the scriptures, y'all. What did he say to Peter? He says, upon this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Yeah, we supposed to use all them scriptures that we can bind and lose. Whatever we bound on, bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Those are spiritual warfare principles. Those are spiritual warfare weapons. We need to know how to use our weapons. We are a special people. We are a people whose everything was stolen from them while we went through this punishment. We were sent around the tree of forgetfulness. We did not know who we were. We don't know who we what we are. We can look back to the continent of Africa and still don't understand or know who we are or what has happened to us. Y'all, we need to read this Bible with our people as the biblical characters. Then this thing will make sense to you. Who, I mean, how does it make sense that white people have been beaten, hung, they have been, you know, uh, 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 enslaved, you know, uh, all these things that the Bible speak of. We can't identify that with the Caucasian people, but we can identify it as being black folk because black folk woke up and found themselves in slavery. Black folk woke up and found themselves in in Jim Crow. Black folk woke up finding themselves walking while black, riding while black, driving while black, talking while black, just being black in America. And what does that get you? Six feet under, especially if you have a check and pass when the police come up, come up on you. You know, and they don't like you and they want to make an example out of you. They want to smile in your face and then look in the camera and kill our black men or kill our black women or our children and put a smile on their face because they know ain't nothing going to happen to them because they know we ain't got no advocate to stand for us. Y'all, but we got the word. Yahweh did not leave us defenseless. He left us with a way to come up out of this and you need to know how to come up out of it and i keep telling you that this word of god this right here is your sword it is your sword it is a spiritual sword and we look just like jesus because this sword goes down in our bellies and becomes a river of living water and come up through our mouth like a sword and it cuts asunder flesh and spirit so you need to know what your spiritual warfare weapons are you going to keep perishing if you don't use this, y'all. Because we can get a natural weapon. But, be, but getting a natural weapon, what does that, what is that going to prove, y'all? You know, because a natural weapon can only take so many out. But with our spiritual weapon, Yahweh says, one puts a thousand to flight. Two puts ten thousand. Come on, y'all. On our right hand, we'll see ten thousand fall. Come on, y'all. Know what this is. I keep telling y'all, something happened with us. And we need to pull, we need to get to the root of it. We can't be afraid to ask America, hey y'all, y'all bought us here. Who are we? Who you bought into America? Why y'all not giving us the justice? Y'all talking about we some Negroes. Uh, Negro scriptures don't even fit, y'all. Now, sham scriptures do fit. And we have you know, uh, 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 warn that 400 years of punishment upon us. And then the scripture says that Jacob, that Judah, that, that um, Jacob is cursed and Israel is given to a reproach. So if the Bible say we curse. And then it says, then we read Deuteronomy 28 and we see the curses of 15 through 68 and we apply them to our lives. How do these curses feel white folks, y'all? Wake up. Wake up. I'm telling you to wake up now and read that Bible and put your people in it. 
Then it starts to make sense. Then a light bubble start clicking off in our head. Then we can start assim uh, assimilating what has happened. We can look at the people of the world and see why things are like this. This is called Gentile rule. This whole system we living in. This is why the things are like they are. It's a system of magic. This is Satan's system called Gentile rule. Read about it in Luke, uh, Luke 21 and verse 24. It tells you until the fullness of the Gentile system uh, come in, meaning the fullness of their wickedness. When it fills up, and it ain't no more space for it to fill up in. That's the end of that thing. The same thing with our sufferings. When our sufferings fill up to a place where it ain't no more, ain't, ain't no more place to put no more sufferings in, then it's the end of that thing. And then also, the Amorites, the sins of the Amorites. Y'all know what the sins of the Amorites are. The sins of the Amorites is when you're sleeping with, when a son's sleeping with his mama. When a, when a dad is sleeping with his daughter. You know, when you can go marry, you know, uh, 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 your mama or your daddy. Just stupid crap. You know, when, when, when you messing with, with, with people in your family. You know, that forbidden taboo stuff. When, I mean, when, when, when you're having bestiality sex with beasts. Okay, and just like the uh, fallen angels, you know, uh, 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 tried to create their own breed of 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 of, uh, uh, of people or whatever, and then they they would mix animals, you know, with people. They have people bodies but animal heads. Come on, y'all. Come on, these things. Come on, y'all. These you you're not supposed to do these things. And men have done them even up to now. Because if you Google some of this stuff, you can see how men have slept with, with, with animals, which is punishable by law, you know. So uh, they have shown you examples of how, how dogs come out with human heads, looking like humans, y'all. Because it has been done. Huh. Ecclesiastic says, ain't nothing new under the sun. Y'all better know what this is. Y'all better wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up and know what this is. Know that your history, everything around us has been stolen. Why is Russia singing a song about Negroes stay asleep? Why, yo? Why? And why is Hitler telling the world that America has stolen Yahweh's precious jewels. And then they say Hitler didn't say it. Well, if he didn't say it, why is it true? Because Genesis 15, 13 through 14 says that, that uh, Yahweh's children find themselves in a land that's not their own. That they will be there 400 years. Enslaved, abused, misused. And then Yahweh will bring, uh, will, will visit them who, uh, uh, who put them in bondage. Then he will bring them out with great substance. Come on, y'all. Everything fits together like hand in glove. You know why? Because they stole all of our identities. Okay. They want you to think Satan. Now, this, this is what he did. He has to have his children in the earth too for this all to work together, y'all. Satan used our history and reassigned it to the Caucasian people. The world did not, Africa did not start off as Caucasian, okay? The sun is too hot. The land is too hot. It's no way that Caucasian people could have made it in the land of Egypt in Misram. Misram is Ham's son. So how did Misram become mixed race, y'all? Come on, y'all. Only when Ptolemy and when uh, Alexander the Great went and conquered those lands and when Rome came there, y'all, that's when it, it became mixed race. This wasn't until later. Ptolemy came at the end of Egyptian rule. Come on, y'all. When they, when their, when their rule was about to be, you know, uh, uh, when, when, when Yahweh took, broke Egypt's power, y'all. 
It did not start off like that. Don't let nobody tell you like when they show us Cleopatra, they they uh have white stars to play them. Really? Uh white folks weren't even there during that time. Okay? And Cleopatra was black. She married Ptolemy. Okay? So how is Ke 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 Cleopatra even being portrayed as a white person? She was black. Ptolemy was the one that was white. So get y'all story straight, Hollywood. You know? We must ask the right questions. We're not asking the right questions, y'all. And we cannot be afraid. They did this to us. We must go and make them tell us. And we already have the proof that we are Hebrews. That it was Hebrews bought into slavery in the transatlantic slave trade. There were Hebrew people, y'all. So, they can't lie to us. We need them to tell us out of their own mouth, to admit. And Yahweh says, that, that, why do you think that racism must be torn down, y'all? Racism must be torn down because it does not represent God's kingdom. And see, when you're ruling a world, you're supposed to be for all of your people. You're not supposed to be for one segment of your people. You represent all of your people. So, out of all the people on the face of the earth, y'all, how is it that just one group of people, one group of people has suffered our atrocities? Now, when we read the Bible, we only find that it's one group of people, Yahweh said, that was going to suffer our atrocities because we were covenant breakers, okay? That's the only reason why we're suffering this. We're not suffering because we were Negroes and we're Canaan and we're slave of slaves. That's a lie. That scripture don't even fit us. It don't fit, y'all. Because the promises are found under Shem. So our 2,000 years of being exiled from the land is found under Shem. And the 400 years of the curses. A generational perpetual curses. Until Yahweh sends Yeshua to redeem us, y'all. Well, he's already redeemed us. Uh, let me get that straight with you guys. He redeemed us when he went to the cross once and for all. And I told y'all what that cross was about, right? I told y'all that this was Constantine's cross that Satan gave to Constantine to go and conquer in. And that is exactly what they did. See, this is how God set everything up. Before things went haywire the way they did, the church came out of Israel, Israel, y'all. Remember when Jesus was still in the earth, he was in the land. He was a Hebrew, just like we are, a Nazarene, okay? So, uh, he brought the church about when he got, when he got those, when he put those 12 disciples together, y'all. And then he taught them everything that he needed to teach them. He gave them the example of how we were supposed to walk this thing out. How were we supposed to talk this thing out? What were we were supposed to do? How were we supposed to do it? If y'all want to know how to be, how to get soup on your natural, go and read the New Testament. With how he told us to use the word of God, use the scriptures, y'all, as our spiritual warfare weapon. See, all of this thing was done for a purpose. It was done for a reason. You was in church to learn how to move in these end times, how to defeat Satan, and how to defeat his children in these end times. That's why we went to church. It wasn't to be a fashion show. It wasn't to model our wares, you know, what, what we were looking like, you know. It wasn't to go and try to steal somebody, man. It wasn't to go and be seen. It wasn't to go for all that other junk. It was to learn the word of God because you need it for such a time as this. Only 12,000 is going to make it up out of this. How you going to make it and you ain't got the word of God? Yeah, you can have you a sword. 
which is a gun, modern days, time, you know, weapons of, to, of today's world. But as I said, the spirit, the, the, the spiritual weapon of God, one puts a thousand to flight with the spiritual sword, two puts 10,000. More of us getting together, we put more to flight when we come into unity. How y'all gun gonna stand against the word of God? And then bullets don't penetrate the word of God, y'all. We have a, 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 a special protection. We have a covering. We need to know who we are. We need to activate the gifts within us. Jesus said greater works than these will we do also. Y'all, we living in them times. We need to know who we are so we can get through this thing. Jesus said, will he find faith in the earth when he comes back? We got to be in our place when he comes back, y'all. We must be in our place so that he can come through. He want to know, are we going to do what we need to do, y'all, to make the way for him? <laughs> y'all, this thing was taught to us so wrong, so wrong, so wrong, because our eyes was on the wrong people. And once we put the right people in place and we start reading this word and start doing it the way Yahweh told us to do it through Jesus, oh, we're going to find out. We got some super on our natural, y'all. We them people. Hey, hey, we them people. Yes, we are. We them people. Y'all better know who we are. But we them people. Yeah. We didn't go through this 400 years of suffering for nothing. We have not been, you know, exiled from our land for 2,000 years for nothing. It was all because we have the evidence of who we truly are. We got the evidence of being Yahweh's children. Y'all better know who you are. So the reality of ours is actually, a, this reality that we live in, y'all, is actually a Bible story. They stole us by the Bible, and by the Bible, we're going to get back everything, everything that was taken from us. Okay? And we are redeemed from the fulfillment of the curses, the 400-year curses of Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. The wheels of time has turned. The gears have shifted into a new position. Now, y'all, it's our mouthpiece. We got to work these mouthpieces with our faith, with our belief, and some expectation to come up out the situation that we in, y'all, to change our position, yeah, y'all. I told you we, are, we, we were under a curse. They sent around us around the tree of forgetfulness. Well, we will remember who we were no more. Even Psalms 83 says we're hidden people, y'all. We don't even wear our own identity because another people, Genesis 9 and 27 says, Yaphet is living in our tents, living in Shem's tents. And then they conveniently made the Ottoman Turk Shem. So how is the Ottoman Turk Shem? He over there in the Middle East. And then the Gentiles are living in the Ottoman Turks 10, they all Gentiles. Read Genesis 10, 1 through, through 5. It tell you who the Gentiles are. It will tell you Ashkenaz, Ashkenazi, and Togoma, which is where these people come from. The Khazar people and the Ottoman Turk people come from. They come from Yafet. This is their progenitor. They are not Shem. And then they say they got into being Shem. Or they, they became they became uh, part of the 12 tribes through Ephraim. Really? Seriously? That Ephraim is a mixed race? Why? Because Ptolemy? Because of, of, of uh, Ptolemy, Mary, and Cleopatra? Ptolemy ain't none of us. He, no Egyptians? That's it. He Egyptian. He represented Egyptian. We ain't Egyptians. We Hebrews. See, that's another thing. They made us everything up under the sun, but who we truly are. We, we, we are Hebrews, y'all, Asiatic black people, Hebrew people, y'all. Go to the museum right here in Chicago. Those who live here in Chicago, y'all go to the museum, uh, 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 the, the uh, Oriental Arts Museum on the Chicago um, University campus, Rockefeller uh, 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 Foundation. Put this museum together, fun, funded this museum, y'all, and then stole our identity and said that these was their relatives. And their relatives look like us in hair and skin. Ah, yeah, right. Uh, we need to decipher this thing. 
and we need to get, uh, uh, allow, uh, we need to stop them from getting away with these lies, y'all. Our proof is coming out of the ground. So I know as for me, I'm going all the way with this message. I'm going to the forefront, to the precipice of the world to let the people know, hey, y'all can't steal our identity. No, Yahweh says, no, not so. Everything that was stolen from us must be given back to us. Everything that was stolen from Shem must be given back to the children of Israel. Descendants is ours. It's our inheritance. Yahweh gave it to us. Has man going to take what Yahweh gave to us and then want to take us backwards 400 years? Who is man that he could take us back 400 years just because we were given to them? 401 years ago, they think they can repeat something that was a punishment. Did Yahweh say his day of vengeance, you know, will fall upon us? Well, you know what? That day is done. That day is gone. Uh, we don't got to repeat those things no more. It's, it's over. It's done. So if Yahweh said it's done, how man going to just have his way with us? Yes, yeah, Satan, and he under our feet. Y'all better know Satan is under your feet. He's under the feet of the saint. You are the saints, y'all, because you did nothing to nobody for them to come take you. The colonizers and those captors came and took our ancestors. They came and stole us from our land. They stripped us from our people. We had families. We had our own language we used to speak. We had our own identity. They snatched it from us. They stripped us. It's not okay with me. I hope it's not okay with you. It is time now for us to ask questions. Hey, y'all, what's all of this? You say you won't give us reparations, but yet it's still you took us from our land. You volunteer. Now your people want to kill us. The police want to kill us. Then you allow our people to kill us. But do you know black on black crime is in the Bible? Isaiah 3. Isaiah 3 will tell you all about it. Isaiah 3 tells you, Yahweh put the youth over us, over our ancient, over the elderly people, over the grown-ups, that they will be the ones to rule us. What do y'all think that mean? That mean gangs, y'all to rule us, to keep us on our knees because Yahweh knew we would come out of a time where things did get better for us and that we could have millions, that we could buy houses, that we could buy cars, we could buy lands, that we could, you know, live like the rest of the people, that we could have the things that we wanted. And he knew we are stiff-necked, hard-hearted people and that we will fall again, that we would get to a place where we need them no more. So he put gangs in our community to keep us on our knees, to keep us crying out to him. Because we don't have an advocate to stand for us. We have no one to protect us, y'all. All we have is the word of God, which is our weapons of warfare right now. That's all we have. It's the weapons of our warfare, which is the arm of God. And our speaker, which is the word of God that he left us, which are rivers of living water to make us look like in the images of Jesus. We little Jesus is running around this camp. We need to learn the word of God. So again, uh, the nations who have just fulfilled again. So to the nations, I want to ask y'all a question. All those who are not African-American, even African-Americans, who are Hebrew people, who have just fulfilled the 400 years of prophecy and the curses on the children, excuse me, on the children of Israel, the 12 tribes. And Zechariah 8 and 13 tells you that Jacob was, was cursed and Israel is under reproach. So who, who nations, who are these people? If you point to those people over there, uh, in, 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 in Israel, talking about the Jewish people, we know that the truth ain't in you. <laughs> that you're telling the lie and the truth ain't in you because these people don't even line up with the word of God. They don't line up with scripture. They don't line up with what's coming out the ground screaming, black folks, black folks, y'all. We black folks. Okay? You can't be white and be black too now. You can't start off, off black like we are 
And then all of a sudden nowadays, we, we, we straight white folks, hair and skin. Come on now. That just don't happen. It ain't happening in history and it won't happen. <laughs> Y'all better know something. So, again, scripture says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Satan has come down to you in great wrath because he knows that his time is short. Revelations 12 and 12. Read about it, y'all. So y'all will know that this is his realm. This is Gentile rule, his realm. Okay? Satan is the God of this world. Okay? So we see in the stories of Job 1 and Job 2 how uh, Yahweh allowed Satan to be God of this world and how he allowed his children to be chastised by Satan for such a time as this because we covenant breakers. We have stiff necks and hard hearts. So Yahweh going to get it right with us. He said that he put us under his day of vengeance for his children. He said, he says that, that it starts at home with us first. Okay. That he going to deal with his children first before he deal with the world. So he dealing with his children by having us to go through, by having us to have gone through those 400 years. So Deuteronomy 32, 8 through 10 says, when the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided the sons of man, he set the boundaries of the people according to the numbers of the sons of God. But the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, his allotted inheritance. And the world stole our inheritance, y'all. Even under the Vatican, they got a lot of our stuff. I stuff spread it out to the four corners of the world. People are have, have got our stuff. They just don't know. They got to give it back. And that's why Isaiah 60 and 5 will come alive in our lives, y'all. Where the forces of the Gentiles, because this is Gentile rule. It is Satan's rule. And he lied to the world about the identity, the true identity of the 12 tribes. So all of our stuff that the world got must come back to us. Watch and see. Watch and see. Don't it happen? Watch and see. Don't our stuff come back to us, y'all, in our lifetime. In our lifetime. Just take a look at what's happening, especially with this election, y'all. Watch and see. So, uh, verse 10, he found him in a desert, in a barren, howling wilderness. He surrounded him. He instructed him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye. And I told y'all how our story started off. That our mama had us. Our mama was a Hittite. Our daddy was an Amorite. They, uh, uh, our mama had us in a field, an open field. She, They looked at us. They thought we was ugly. Didn't want us. They didn't think we was worth living. She spewed us, spit us out. And they kept, kept on pushing. They kept moving. So God came along and he saw us. He saw us as that baby. And he selected us from that day and made us his, y'all. And I believe that story is Isaiah 53. Read about it. If it ain't 53, read about it. It's 52. Read about it. How Yahweh chose our people. He saw us as a baby choking in our own blood. Our own mama didn't want us. So that's, a, that's how it is with the world. The, the whole world don't like us. That's why we're the most hated people. Y'all need to read about y'all heritage. Read about how y'all started. How God regarded y'all as the apple of his eye. He said in verse 10 that he found y'all in a desert land, in a barren howling wilderness. He surrounded y'all and he instructed y'all. He guided you, you as the apple of his eye. You better read that. Read the Bible so we'll know how this happened. Deuteronomy 32, 20 through 21. He said, I will have my face from them. I will see what their end would be. That's what he told us and sent us into a curse. Before he sent us around the tree of forgiveness, he allowed these people to send us around a tree of forgiveness where we, would, where, where, where we wouldn't even know our hair from our tail. We wouldn't know where we came from, our identity or nothing. We wouldn't even be aware that the world started off black that Europe was black and that what we see now wasn't what it was uh, in, 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 in the 1600s because of the 1600s when Yahweh's day of vengeance visited us. It's how 
wow, a shift happened and everything flipped over. And they were allowed to come in. In, in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48, it says that the, the heathen opened up the book of the law and sought to paint their likeness, change their likeness to what it is, y'all. Y'all gotta know. Y'all gotta know how this happened to us. And we need to ask questions. Don't let this just go, y'all. We weren't put here just to be the, the tail. And then Yahweh say he restoring us. And then y'all ain't got the nerves to ask questions. Y'all better get some doggone nerves. And y'all better start asking questions. Of what is this that happened to us? America? What is this? So he said he would hide his face from us. Why he sent us through this punishment. And that he sent us around a tree of forgiveness. That we wouldn't remember who we were anymore. He said he did this because did this we were a perverse generation. Children of unfaithfulness. Stiff neck and hard hearted y'all. They have provoked my jealousy by wit. By that which is not God. They have enraged me with their worthless idols. We did everything what everybody else did. Instead of being the lawgivers that y'all always sent us to be. So I would make them jealous by those who are not a people y'all. See them, them Khazars, them Olive and Turk. Them Khazars is the one who's, who's, who's saying that they the Jewish people who got our identity, y'all. And don't think that this is no harsh thing I'm saying. Y'all need to know what happened, y'all. But y'all know the people in the world. Know their identity and know where our identity is. We are not Negro. I will make them angry by a nation without understanding. So he's making us angry by this nation calling themselves Jewish. <laughs> and Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9 says that they are not. They're not Jews. They are of the synagogue of Satan. And that he will make them come and bow down at our feet. To lick the dust off our feet and let them know that he never stopped loving us. He just had to send us through a punishment, y'all. Because we were covenant breakers, y'all. So, he says, uh, Deuteronomy 32, 26 and 31. He says, I would have said that I would have cut them to pieces and blot out their memory for mankind. See, this is what he would have done to us. But because of his word, to, to uh, 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 Jacob and uh, uh, to Isaac, to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, because of his word to them, he had to fulfill his word. And he had to save his own name. That he could not let the, the enemy uh, 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 think that it was because of their hand that they had done this. Okay? He said, if I had not dreaded the taunt of the enemy, least their adversary misunderstand and say, our own hands has prevailed. It was not the Lord who did this at all. Mm, who did all of this. Mm. See, that's why he going to come back and straighten out things. That's why he pulling the wool off, pulling the covers off the people. He said a cover is over the people. A, 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 a cover is over the nations. The face of the nations, y'all. A cover is, a veil is over the nations, y'all. We don't see clearly. We can't see the whole picture because Satan has done this. He's disguised what is really going on. He's disguised this thing. So, in Isaiah 65, it's talking about the Jewish people, y'all. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. All because they call themselves Jewish. Yahweh attached to his name, y'all. So, he attached to the Jews. Who, who Mordecai changed the Jewish, the, the, uh, uh, it, the Hebrew, Israelite people's name to Jew. Okay? And they just... Stretch the name out to Jewish. So Yahweh is tied to that name. He's tied to that city. That's his city. Israel is his, is his land, y'all. So he tied to it. That's why he says, I am so to them that ask not for me. Because they wear in that name. I'm not I am found to them that sought me not. I said, behold me. Behold me until a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hand all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thought. 
Look at the things that they do. They came up with the towel move. Look how wicked and nasty that thing is. Mm, abominable that thing is. He said, the people that provoke me to anger continually to my face and sacrifices in garden, gardens and burnt incense upon altars of brick, which, which remain among the graves and large in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abundable things is in their vest, vessels, which say, stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. These are the smoke in my nose, a fire that burns all day. See, the Jewish people will tell you, they holier than you. Don't come near them, that, that you can't tell them anything. They wearing that name. Mm, wearing that name going to get you everything associated with that name. See, you are people that didn't even know him. But because you didn't know him, oh, you going to experience him. You going to get to know him, even the world is going to get to know him because Y'all wearing his name and got the real ch uh, children hidden. Yeah, we going to see about this thing. Behold, it was written. It is written before me. I will not keep my silence, but with recompense, even recompense into their bosom. So he said he going to pay them back for wearing that name, y'all. So it, it and, and jump down to to. um No, let me keep reading. It says, uh, thus says the Lord. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I will do for my servants' sake, that I may not destroy them all. Mm, he going to destroy some of us, though, because some of us don't want no parts of him. And work with the enemy? Yeah. Yeah, they're part of Satan's camp, too. So he says, and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountain and mine elect shall inherit it and my servant shall dwell there. And Sharon, see, Yahweh mentioned my name because he gave me this assignment, y'all. Check this out. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks and the valley of Acor, a place for the herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me. And let me tell you what this, this scripture means in regards to me being mother to Israel. This is my assignment, y'all, to teach us spiritually what has happened according to the Bible. So when you come, then Yahweh has sent his teachings to show you your identity of how this was stolen. So I am a place for you all to come to where you can get nurtured, where you can grow, where you will be nurtured with the word of God to tell you about who you are and who you are, what has happened to you and why it has happened to you and what is still yet to happen. We still have somewhere else to go, y'all. This ain't the end of a thing. It ain't the end of a thing at all. Okay? So, you all must know who you are, and where we going as a people, and we must know, and, and, and let me say something to the church. So, with the church, the church is grafted in. Let's go to Romans and read Romans about what Romans say about, you know, um, what this is with uh the tw you know the 12 tribes of Israel y'all come on it says that that uh Romans talk about being grafted in y'all so it says you have not replaced Israel i'm saying you have not replaced Israel uh church you have not replaced Israel because it's this thing going around called replacement theory now how could the replacement theory be be so if the end times is about the 12 tribes restoration. See, uh, the, the, the branches were, the original branches were broken off. That the Gentiles may be grafted in. That's how the church, it, it, it has come about, y'all. To include those who was not Israel, y'all. So, when the church comes around and says, Oh, well, we have inherited everything Israel has. That everything that Israel has fallen. Because they're looking at the Jewish people thinking that they are us. See, the Jewish people don't want to have anything to do with God. The Jewish people do not receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. 
They talk despicably about Mother Mary. And so they they think that, you know, that they have turned their back on Jesus, God, and, 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 and Mother Mary. So they're looking at them as if God has totally forsaken Israel because they're looking at those doggone Jewish people who are the seed of Satan. The Bible says in, in uh, uh, Revelation 2 and, 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9, that they are of the synagogue of Satan. So come on, y'all. These are Satan's children. So how can the church replace Israel, replace the 12 tribes, when the end times are about the 12 tribes being restored? And the 12 tribes had to be out of their land, exiled from their land for 2,000 years. So why are y'all in the land talking about y'all Israel? Israel not even supposed to be in the land right now. Israel is exiled. And then Israel, true Israel, uh, has gone through the 400 years of, of uh, 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 the curses. So I don't see that it ha has happened for the modern day people calling themselves Israel, y'all. But I do see transatlantic slave descendants uh, fulfilling, you know, what the Bible says about uh, who the 12 tribes are, and then, you know, the church being, you know, uh, grafted in like they're supposed to be. But don't think yourself higher than, you know, the 12 tribes, because Yahweh says y'all could be snatched out too. Just like he cut us out, he'll cut the church out. You know, those of you that's in the church, okay? So we know not all of the church is like this, but for those who go along with that, with that, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, a replacement theory BS, that's a lie. You know, the replacement theory is not, it's, it's not true. That's Satan's lie. So come up out of that thing. And if you are the church and especially a Caucasian church in this day and age, you should be helping us black folks because we are the 12 tribes. And if you say that you love God, you're supposed to show it by action. It's not by what we say out of our mouths. It's what we show by action. So I have come to the end of another broadcast of Eyes Can See. I am your host, Empress Ima Shadon Yisrael, mother to Israel, to teach you about what has happened to us according to the Bible, where we can lay hands on it. We can lay hands on this and prove it by the word of God. They stole us by the word and by the word, we will get back everything that was stolen from us. So this is the authentic word of God. And this is the last uh, 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 word on the subject. And this is how we're going to get back everything that was stolen from us. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everyone you all, you know, about uh, 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 Eyes Can See broadcast. And, and please remember to share. So um, please uh, go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel, Empress Ima Sharon Yisrael. And also, please like and share and turn on your notifications so that you will know when I post new videos. And also, uh, catch me on Twitter and all the other social media platforms. So until next week, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and goodbye for now, everybody. Shalom.